Have you heard of the Great Blizzard of 1888? People were confined to their homes for a week, and railroads were shut down. There was another catastrophic blizzard in 1978. More than two feet of snow fell across the northeast United States. Around 100 people died, and 4,500 people were injured. Damage from the storm cost more than a half a billion dollars. Blizzards impact millions of lives every year. Let's find out more about blizzards. A blizzard is a dangerous winter storm that is a combination of snow and wind, resulting in low visibility. The National Weather Service defines a blizzard as a snowstorm lasting more than three hours with strong winds of more than 35 miles per hour, resulting visibility of less than a quarter mile. The potential for a blizzard arises from three key conditions. First, moisture is needed to form clouds and precipitation. As an air mass moves across a water body, water evaporates from the surface, becoming water vapor. This water vapor forms clouds and producing conditions necessary for precipitation. Second, for precipitation to take place, warm surface air must rise over and above cold air. A front is where warm air and cold air meet. At a front, warm moisture-filled air rises above cold air masses. The warm air cools so the water condenses, releasing the moisture as precipitation. The third condition to produce snow is for the air to be below freezing at ground level and in the clouds. If the temperature at ground level is not below freezing, the snow will melt on its way down, creating rain or freezing rain. To produce a blizzard under these three conditions, rather than a milder snowstorm, the front must be a particularly severe clash between the warm and cold air masses. Blizzards usually form when the jet stream dips far to the south. The southerly dip allows cold arctic air to clash with warm air from the south. Since cold air sinks, it pushes the warm air upwards, producing conditions needed for blizzards. That is why blizzards often come after warm winter weather. In a strong storm system, blizzard conditions often arise to the northwest of a low pressure center. The difference between the lower pressure inside the storm and higher pressure to the west causes air to move fast, resulting in strong winds. The winds associated with this steep pressure gradient produce drifting snow and limited visibility. People must be careful of dangerous conditions during and after blizzards. Exposure to extreme cold can lead to frostbite, hypothermia, and even death. Travel is treacherous due to limited visibility. Slippery roads compound the risk of driving in limited visibility. Accumulation of heavy snow can cause roofs and buildings to collapse or trees to fall. Power outages are common, and access to emergency vehicles is limited because of dangerous driving conditions and impassable roads. Overexertion and heart attacks are common when shoveling snow after a blizzard. In the long term, blizzards cause great economic loss due to lower business activity and the costs of protecting and repairing property and damaged infrastructure.